Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new Forest River Riverstone Legacy 37 FL TH Toy Hauler 5th Bowl. This is a front living room unit with a small garage in the back. We're going to take a few minutes and walk you around the inside and then back to the outside of this beautiful RV. All right, guys, we're now up inside this new Riverstone 37FL TH Toy Hauler 5th Wheel. We're going to start up here in the front living room section. Now, looking at the front of the RV, you can see nice big flat screen TV up there, Samsung TV that they're currently using. And that TV actually drops down into the counter behind the fireplace and Bose soundbar and all that stuff there. And you have a windshield behind there. And that windshield has a couple pull down roller shades, day night roller shades there. Some overhead cabinets up above and beside, along with some lower cabinets down below as well. Um, to the left of the TV is your solar charger control box along with an electric outlet over there. Now you'll see the sofa here. This sofa does fold out, make into a bed. So you could sleep a couple people here. Spinning around here, you see your theater seat, which does recline back, power theater seat, lighted cup holders, little raised push button cup holder piece to help keep your drink from tipping over. Uh, even has a USB charger port built in right there. Good size window. Again, these windows do open. They're dual pane windows, but you got a pretty good size window on both sides of the couch area there and even in behind this area over here. Now, normally there would be a second couch over here that does fold out and make into a bed, just like the one you've seen over here on the other slide. One of the cool things on the front living room model is they have two opposing sofas that do fold out and make into beds that you can do that with on the front living room toy hauler version. The front kitchen toy hauler version does not do that, however. You can only do one bed at a time. Um, this customer chose to order his without the second sofa, and he's going to build himself a pretty cool little computer desk area setup that he has in mind. So he actually deleted the sofa here and put an electric outlet down there in the wall so that he could build himself a desk once he gets his new RV. And you can also see here the legacy floor. This is a pretty cool floor compared to most RV floors. These are individual hand laid panels, not one gigantic sheet. So if you do accidentally damage something, you can replace just a piece without having to cut and splice everything together. But very, very nice, beautiful RV here. This is the Danville wood with the stout stone furniture look. Huge window there between those two slides. You'll also notice more electric outlets in different spots in a lot of the sidewalls and stuff because it's not a laminated RV. They can actually put an electric outlet anywhere you want, basically. Uh, so if that does interest you and you want an electric outlet somewhere, uh, they will do that for a small fee. They'll put it pretty much wherever you want. Uh, a lot of brands can't do that because they're glued together, laminated, thin walls. And this unit here is a three inch thick side wall where most RVs are inch and a half or two inch and they're all sandwiched and glued together. And this is not built like that. This is built more like a residential style home. It is a hung wall with uh, wool insulation in your side walls. So a really nice, more residential style. Dual pane safety glass windows, big feature that's standard on the RV, helps with condensation, helps a little bit with sound deadening and moisture and stuff like that. Now down here is the kitchen area. You have a electric ceiling fan up top here. Pretty cool infinity light that you see in the roof there. Dinette over there on the left has two traditional chairs. And when you do the legacy package, it also comes with two folding chairs standard as part of that legacy package. But if you don't do the legacy package, you can still opt in for the two folding chairs. 
That table does have an extension on it, so it extends out as well. There's storage in those two chairs that you see down there. Pretty cool island kitchen setup here. A lot of cabinet space back here. Now looking at the cabinet area here, you have storage up above. And a lot of storage down below as well. And even back into the island area here, you can see dishwasher down there. Pretty cool pull-out dishwasher. A nice drawer that's up there as well, which does have the uh, little silverware separator. And you've got some storage underneath of the island here, which even has a spot to put your heavy-duty sink covers here. Really, really nice, beautiful counters here. Now, another thing I kind of like on the front living room version over the front kitchen version is this really cool oven slash stovetop system. You can't get this one in the front kitchen, but it is available when you do the front living room toy hauler version. So for you chefs out there that are looking more for this be uh, bigger oven, this is the one for you. Now you have some storage on both sides. You can kind of see also there in the picture that's popping up, big oven area. There's an LED light uh, down inside there. There's also little blue lights that light up on the knobs and stuff. Overhead cabinets, I like on both sides of the uh, convection microwave setup here. If you do the convection, you have a choice, microwave or convection oven there. Um, but on both sides there, they're pull out like, uh, can good holders I guess you'd say a little pantry kind of thing that just pulls out there and then you have storage up above now on the refrigerator you have the large 20 21 cubic foot residential refrigerator here and this has the pull-out drawer on the bottom ice maker built into the bottom you can kind of see in the picture popping up there along with some overhead storage up above there Now, over here by your entry door area, you have quite a bit more cabinet space and coat closet space as well. Your electric box with your breakers and fuses down below. I like the fact that they do a nice grab handle there next to the entry door going out. And another really cool feature on this, forgot to mention when we were outside, but this screen door has a little vinyl insert piece on those two screen sections so if you have those in you're not just pouring the air conditioning or the heat in and out of the camper uh, so you can actually leave this open and still have a decent hold back of the weather nice windows in your dinette area again overlooking your campsite section there Now on the steps going to the bathroom slash bedroom area, there's a little drawer down there that's built in. And you can also see the little step lights. So you have little nightlight step lights right there going up this way and also going up into the living room. Going up into this section here, you have another grab handle, a lot of light switches in here. And there's even some of these that have dimmer switches on them as well. Really beautiful crown molding around the edging of the roof. And I also really like the window seals. Again, due to those thicker, better insulated sidewalls, you have actual window seals built in. Over here on the right is going to be your bathroom area here. Down below, you can kind of see you have three full extending ball bearing drawer guide drawers that pull out and some storage. Nice solid surface, heavy duty countertop in here. A lot of brands cheapen up when they get to the bathroom and do just a cheaper, you know, plastic or uh, Formica type of counter when you get in the bathroom, but this is actually a solid counter here. The on demand water heater controls, electric outlet, 
Nice big mirror back here as well, and it even has little LED backlighting, along with the bottom of the cabinet toe kick area, which does have LED lighting there too. You have a nicer toilet here, foot flush porcelain toilet with a heavy duty lid to it compared to what's found in most fifth wheels. Little space there, little cabinet area. Turbo exhaust fan here, which does have the uh, rain sensors and stuff on it as well. And then you have a really good sized shower with a sit down seat, adjustable shower bar, sliding glass section there. And they do the wallboard in the bathroom different than the rest of the coach, just to kind of give it a little different feel. Really heavy duty solid doors and stuff here too. Another nice upgrade on the Riverstone over a lot of the other brands is the fact that the cabinetry, not just doors, but cabinetry styles and framing are actually real stained hardwood cabinets. Most brands, it's a cheaper lumber core veneer paper wrap. So you are getting higher quality cabinetry in here uh, along with uh, you know, the better construction of the walls, roof, and floor. And you can see here quite a bit of cabinet space on both sides of the bed along with overhead. And then you have a really big counter area behind your bed. So plenty of room for your alarm clocks, your cell phones, whatever you need to put back there. Electric outlets on both sides of the bed, USB charger ports also on both sides of the bed. Now over here on this side is another slide out and this is basically just a wardrobe closet right here. So you have four closet bars, short closet bars because they do go depth wise not length wise. Um, four drawers down below there as well. And you also have your Dyson rechargeable vac in there. Now kind of coming back here and looking back toward the foot of the bed, see another electric fireplace here. Again, cool feature, 36 inch electric graystone fireplace here. On the left hand side is the stackable washer dryer, which is standard on the coach. Uh, you can opt out of that if you don't full time or whatever and don't need that and just have more storage there. Um, another thing you could do if you wanted, you don't have to get the fireplace in here, even though it is a uh, you know, really nice feature for knocking the chill off in the fall. But you can delete the fireplace and do uh, a little cabinet there if you wanted. Another flat screen TV here. Now, the bed does come up. And we'll pop that picture up there so you can kind of see what that bed does look like in up mode. Another really nice feature of the RV is the Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning System. If you've noticed while we've kind of walked up and back through here and everything, uh, there's no big square air conditioner in the roof. And that is because they use the nicer Whisper Quiet Air. That's a huge feature again for those full timers or really anybody that is wanting to sit down, have a conversation with each other on a hot summer day inside their camper, watch TV or something like that at night. You don't have as loud of a roar above your head. You still hear a little bit of noise, but nowhere near as loud as what you get out of those traditional RV air conditioners. All right, guys, we're going to run through the outside of Mr. Guillermo's camper here, show you around that section. Uh, don't forget, guys, to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you're interested in keeping up with more of my RV videos. And also check out CouchesRVNation.com, guys. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country and are definitely going to save you guys a lot of money on a new RV. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new Riverstone Legacy fifth wheel here. And as you can see, this unit is a full body paint job. This is the Crimson Knight paint job. Beautiful high gloss coating on the outside. You have multiple layers of clear coat, individual painted striping. Really, really sharp look to the unit. Um, the unit has a windshield in the front, which you've seen when we were inside. 
There's a couple LED light strips that come down, one on each side of that windshield. And then you also have an LED light strip there above the optional trail air hitch pin. This customer ordered his with this air box. Uh, this is a really nice feature for the upgrade. Some people like more ride. Uh, you can do that aftermarket, but it comes with the optional trail air hitch pin box if you want to get it from the RV manufacturer. Down below there, large storage compartment, or if you order it with the optional generator, that's where that would go. Or you could just order it generator prepped if you want. This customer ordered his with the optional slide out awning covers. So it covers four of the five slide outs. The only one that's not actually covered is the one under the big awning over there. And that is in part due to the main awning could hit it and tear it and damage it. So they just prefer not to do that from the factory. Um, those awnings, when they are closed up, the big awnings and the slide topper awnings, when you order them from the factory, are encased with an aluminum casing. So when you're driving down the road, if you accidentally brush against tree branches or things like that, uh, it protects that material. Also, it helps protect that material from uh, UV rays and stuff like that, dry rotting out the material faster. So nice upgrade to their slide topper feature. This customer also ordered his with the security camera system. So on that front running light down each side, there is a camera that goes down so you can use it while you're driving down the road, but also you can use it when you're inside the camper camping and look around your camper. There's another camera above that light above the entry door there. You can also see the LED light strips built into the two standard awnings on this coach. Beautiful, beautiful exterior here. Um, behind that first door there are two 40 pound propane tanks. Just down below that is a gas line hookup for like a portable grill or something if you wanted to plug it in. The second door right back there is storage, you can see right there. Just to the left of that is an electric outlet. You have the upgraded more ride step with the shock assist so it's nice and easy to flip this in and out of the RV. There's also a touch pad lock to get in and out with a remote control as well. So you just push a button or you can use the keys either way. Large folding entry handle there just to help you get in and out of the coach. On the side of the slide here is a storage box where you could put some extra little things like maybe a few chairs, little uh, folding lawn chairs or something along those lines. Love the windows in the coach. They are frameless dual pane windows standard. So you have two layers of glass there. The unit is a triple axle unit. Now this customer chose to upgrade to the more ride suspension system, which has individual suspension system for each tire. Really cool setup there. Uh, you got to see it in the picture that's popping up there, but really nice high end feature for the ride of the RV. Disc brakes standard on this particular model. It is also part of the legacy package when you order some of the other models. Six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system. You can see one of the jacks right there behind the axle. Then there's another one up under the slide. You can barely see it there a little bit. And then obviously the front landing gear jacks as well. Two outdoor speakers. Now behind the first door is pass through storage right there. Behind the middle door is a place for a TV. This customer ordered his with the 50 inch flat screen TV and the little sound bar. You don't have to get that if you don't want, but that is a pretty cool feature to have. Then you do have a little bit of storage right here. Now on the rear of the coach, it's gonna be a little tight back here, but you can see the observation camera back here on the top in the center there. Ladder coming down the back. Couple docking lights back here. Really nice paint job section back here as well. And then they also use the More Ride Zero G ramp door. Really light and easy to raise up and down. 
small child can raise these things up and down. It doesn't require that big spring assist going across the bottom like you see on some cheaper RVs. Here you have backup lights and your tail lights, all LED. I like the fact that it has backup lights. This thing is pretty far away from the back of your truck. Obviously, it's a pretty large coach, so it's nice to have lights back here to be able to see. Now, on the side over here is the powered power cord reel that you're seeing. And you have some more storage areas here. Back up a little bit more so you can see this a little better here. Another security light on this side. Again, guys, don't forget to check out Couches RV Nation. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They'll save you a lot of money on a new RV. Now, just up there to the right of the security light is the washer dryer vent. And basically this comes standard with the washer dryer stackable that you've seen inside. That's where your vent comes out at. You have a little docking station section right there above the center wheel. You have the on-demand water heater right there above the wheel as well. And then you also see that nice big turn signal right there, running light. That's a pretty cool feature because it is actually a turn signal, side mount turn signal there. A lot of brands have running lights going down the sides, but no side turn signals. So another nice safety feature there. Now, just in front of the axle is the dump area right there where you basically hook your dump hose. The Legacy package comes with a dump hose system, waste management system that is a built-in holder and a really nice heavy duty dump hose. Most RVs, or actually all RVs, don't come with dump hoses from the RV manufacturers hardly anymore. Uh, so it's usually you're purchasing it from the dealer's parts department or the dealer's throwing in some cheap junky hose. So this is pretty cool that it does come up with something nice, heavy duty to last for a while. And also underneath of there is the spare tire, which is on a really nice mount underneath the unit. Furnace ex uh, exhaust right there in front of that slide out. And here you can also see the other side of the storage compartment there. Now on the front corner here is where your batteries are gonna be. You see that popping up there. You can do four batteries if you want. It comes standard with two from Couches RV Nation, but there's room for four. And they're on little sliding trays, so you can pull them in and out and just kinda you know, maintain them and things like that. You're also going to see popping up here your weight stickers, gross weight sticker, unloaded weight sticker, tire sticker, and carrying capacity sticker. Now the unit also comes standard with 190 watt solar panel. You can maybe see just a little bit of the edging up there. Uh, but this customer chose to do two more additional solar panels. So he has three solar panels up there. And it has an inverter, which runs the refrigerator and a couple outlets. Now we're gonna close everything up and show you what it looks like closed up to help get you an idea on that as well. All right, guys, real quick, I just wanted to show you what this slide out looks like closed up here. Um, not a real big difference. It just basically kind of comes in and touches the bed area here. But I just wanted to kind of show you how it works. Push a button, electric slide comes right on in. And it's done. So even with this in, you can see it just kind of touches up against the bed. You could still come back here and sleep and not have to bump out that one individual slide right there. All right, guys, I wanted to show you real quick what it looks like again with the living room slides closing up. So you could kind of get an idea how this works. They use the Schwintech slide out system up here 
on the living room slide setup. Now these are individually controlled, so you can just run one room in if you want, and then leave one out, or you know, however you want to kind of do it. But it's still functional to be able to you know, kind of come up in here if you wanted and grab something fairly quickly if you're at like a rest area or something like that. Once we get this closed up here, we're going to spin the camera around and we'll also show you what it looks like on the downstairs side here. Okay, kind of looking down here toward the downstairs section. These two down here are hydraulic. So you push a button and these go in and out. These are a little bit faster than the electric rooms, but these are also bigger, heavier rooms. And they are also individually controlled from right here on your control panel. So this is a really nice feature to be able to individually control the slide rooms from inside. So if you do stop at a rest area or something like that, you can bump out just one room and get to what you need to if you if you need to op op open up a room. Well, there you can kind of see what that looks like. So when it is all closed up, it is a very tight fit. But you just push a button, real simple, bump the rooms out and you can get to what you need. And you can stop the rooms at different points. They don't have to be all the way out or all the way in kind of thing. Uh, so if you're just trying to get back to the bedroom, you can bump out that one slide. Uh, if you're just trying to get to the refrigerator to grab something to drink at a stop, you can bump out just this one slide and get to that refrigerator real easily. All right, guys, we're gonna head back and show you the outside garage area. All right, guys, I was able to get this thing moved and opened up here in the back so we could kind of see what this looks like. You can see here the Moor Ride Zero G ramp door coming down. Really nice, easy to use ramp system. Rubber diamond plate looking floor there. A little bit of diamond plate around the lower edging of the walls there. A couple vents in here for venting out fumes. There's four motion lights in there, or you can turn them on or flip them completely off, but they are motion sensor lights. The up and down bed lift is the black button there on the left wall that you're seeing. And this kind of comes up and down again in stages. And again, we'll put the measurements down below. But plenty of room in here. I think off the top of my head, I think it's around like nine feet long, nine feet, one inch, something like that. Last time I really did the measurements on it. Uh, but plenty of room in here for a golf cart or most motorcycles. Now we'll push this. I just want to kind of show you what it does when it comes down. There's a button right over here. Basically you push this button you can kind of see here this whole system comes down so it's pretty simple and easy just an electric motor and that just kind of puts it in regular mode for actually being able to go inside and use the bed and stuff like that All right, guys, I wanted to show you what this bed area or garage area, I mean, looks like here um, with it down and we're going to go up with it. You've seen us bring it down here. So now we're going to take it back up.
This is the slim rack uh, electronic mechanism that is used. They use it on some slide outs and stuff on RVs as well, but they use the slim rack system here. It's just a little more stronger and reliable than some of the shock assist that you see on some of these less expensive versions of these things. I know there was a couple brands out there that tried doing like gas strut shocks as a use for raising this bed up and down and it didn't function very well and you've got your little sticker there 2,000 pound capacity in this garage area now one of the other things too again is this door and this again the more ride zero g door this is a super easy door to use it is literally holding itself up there so again it's nice and easy for you know a child or somebody to pick this thing up and close your ramp door for you as you can see again just kind of stopping where it wants to nice easy usable door here and there is an electronic key lock down there or fifth wheel. I get a lot of requests from customers asking to see something actually loaded in this thing. Um, so I had an old lot golf cart here and uh, just wanted to kind of give you a quick idea of how it sets up inside there, the way it all kind of looks and kind of show you how much room is still around it. Uh, but a little old golf cart here that we use around a lot. All right, so we got her loaded up in there. As you can see, again, just a little two-seater golf cart. So there's still plenty of room at the end here. Plenty of room on both sides of the area. Obviously, I got it a little more over to the right side there, so it gave me a little more room to squeeze myself out of there. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. I'm trying to update a lot of the information for you. I'll squeeze back up in here. You can kind of see here, still room around. We're not touching the wall or anything in there. You have an electric outlet in here, a couple other uh, lights back up in there. Those are motion lights also. But pretty easy setup, not real hard to put up and down in there. Again, guys, check out CouchesRVNation.com. They let me do these little videos for you guys. One of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. All right, guys, just real quick, I wanted to show you some cool stuff about these steps here. This is the More Ride Step, and this has the shock assist on it. It's a quad entrance step used on the Riverstone here, and this thing is super easy to use. It holds up to 500 pounds of weight, where most of the hover style steps are only rated for about 300 pounds. So you have a much heavier duty step here. Comes down, touches the ground, has little adjustable feet on it. All you do is pull the little pin right here and you can adjust the feet. But you can see this step is literally holding itself up. So it's nice and easy to flip this thing up inside the door frame and put it away.